Okay, let's start. Um, can you hear my voice? Okay. Hello, uh, this is T. Umber. Um, Please ensure that you download the material from Classroom for today's session. Um, in today's session, we will delve into the original DDPM paper by Jonathan Ho, this paper. <clears throat> Our pro primary uh, focus will be on understanding and implementing the model architecture and the loss function of the DDPM, uh, which is a uh, denoising diffusion probabilistic model. Uh, this code is based on uh, this link. And I hope you recall the diffusion lecture from this Tuesday as uh, today's exercise will significantly draw upon that knowledge. Um, since our uh, session is not a theoretical lecture, I will briefly summarize the DPM. Um, as you know, uh, the DPM comprises two processes, the forward process and the reverse process. The forward process involves gradually adding the noise um, to an image X0, following a specific uh, non-noise schedule uh, until uh, it reaches a Gaussian distribution. Conversely, a reverse process is the denoising step, starting from the pure noise X large T and progressively uh, removing noise to reconstruct the image. Um, so far, I have explained this in a high level manner, manner but um, let's now consider it in a more mathematical form. It's just recap. Um, we defined a forward diffusion process, QXT given XT minus one, which as Gaussian noise at each time step T, according to known variance schedule, beta. So um, we can formalize a uh, uh, QXT given XT minus one equals a normal distribution with a mean of the square root of one minus beta, beta T times XT minus one and a covariance of beta t times the identity matrix. This is a forward diffusion process. And we can uh, reparameterize uh, parameterize xt equals root in min uh, 1 minus beta t times xt minus 1 plus uh, root beta t epsilon. These are the same, right? And um, how about the reverse process? Uh, how can we denoise a noise sample QXT minus one given XT? Um, actually, we can't do that. It, it's intractable. So we leverage neural network uh, to approximate uh, P theta XT minus one given XT following some Gaussian distribution. Um, and also uh, uh, in forward diffusion process, there are some nice property that uh, we can create XT uh, straight from, from X0, right? In other words, uh, we can convert any sample to noise sample at time step, t, at time step arbitrary T without learnable parameters, um, just by repeatedly adding small Gaussian noise. Uh, you have to remember this property. And when we train uh, P theta, we can, uh, we can train P theta, this P theta, by minimizing a variation rule bound. In other words, uh, this VLB term uh, is sum of three, three uh, loss term. Uh, we just simplify, uh, we just simply minimize the KL divergence between two Gaussian distributions. Um, 
Yeah, I hope you, you can remember. Yeah. But uh, Jonathan Ho empirically found that a simple loss function, this function, works better. So yeah, our network will be predict some noise, right? This is the whole picture. Um, so far, do you have any questions? Okay. Uh, this was a brief of a review. And in my case, understanding the algorithm helped me to uh, intuitively understand the DDPM process. So we take a random sample X0, uh, just image from the real data set, and also sample a noise from normal distribution. And also we can sample T from one to large T. Um, and then we have uh, x, t, and somehow we will minimize this function, right? The neural network is trying to predict uh, added noise based on corrupt, corrupted image x, t using uh, MSA loss or L1 loss, doesn't matter. In this session, uh, we will use a neural network uh, UNET uh, to predict noise. Note that predicted noise is a tensor that has the same size as the input image. As we can see, uh, UNET model first downsamples the input, uh, which reduces the input spatial, spatial resolution, and then uh, performs upsampling. So it is uh, almost like a twin quarter. Okay. So first, uh, we will import some packages. Just run this code. And we're also going to define some network helpers like residual and upsample and downsample function. Uh, residual function is intuitive. And upsample uses conf transpose 2D and downsample use conf 2D, right? And Since the part of this are uh, the parameters of the neural network uh, UNET are shared across time. Uh, the author used uh, sinusoidal solder, uh, position embeddings to encode time t. Uh, this helps the network know at which particular time step it is operating for every image in a batch. I think uh, these position embeddings are familiar to you because you have already learned about it in the transformer session. And when we build a unit mo model, uh, we have some blocks like ResNet or ConfNext block. It is just a convolution on your network like this and normalization and activation function. Yeah. Uh, the important thing is uh, we need to, at first we need to embed the time since, yeah, the network to know 
uh, at which particular time step it is operating, right? And you can either use ResNet block or Convnext block or custom block, but you need to uh, define time embedding like this. Okay. And uh, there's our uh, attention model modules in UNAT. Uh, these modules are added in between the convolutional blocks. So attention module uh, is just the same as uh, in the transformer. This forward function is QKV operation. And we're gonna use uh, group normalization. You can just uh, call group norm like this. It is like batch norm, instance norm, uh, et, et, et cetera. Okay. So we have defined all the components of the DDPM architecture uh, needed to uh, implement diffusion models. So uh, the whole picture is this. Given any image x0 and random time step t and random noise, we can create x noisy called xt this process is called uh, Q sample, also for, for diffusion. And uh, the unit, this is unit. Unit taking X noisy and also time. Uh, we're gonna not use class conditioning. This is just uh, vanilla DDPM. Yeah. So for unit, the input is time and x noisy, and the output should be predicted noise. And uh, yeah, the, this training will proceed in a direction that minimizes the loss function between the predicted noise and actual noise. Once the training is complete, uh, we can sequentially sample images uh, from time t to one. This process is referred to p-sample and uh, also reverse diffusion. This is the whole picture. Okay. And uh, also we need to define the variance schedule. There are uh, so many schedule we can use uh, like cosine, linear, quadratic, sigmoid, but we're gonna use linear schedule. Uh, yeah. Uh, the original DDPM authors employed a linear schedule from beta 1 to beta t, like this. Okay. So to start with, we're going to use a uh, time step, uh, 200 time steps and linear schedule. And we're gonna uh, define various various variables, uh, which we will need. Uh, wait a minute. TDPM 모식도에서 유닛의 방향이 헥스노이즈에서 시작해서 헥스노이즈에서 시작해서. Ah, uh, yeah. You're right. Uh, the question from 
Chun Jin Lee. Uh, The no, uh, is it is X noisy pass through down sample, bottleneck up sample? Yeah, right. This is uh, the process. Oh no no no! It's okay. You can uh question. Uh, if you have question, if you have question, uh, just uh, please ask me. So I know these uh, variable names may be uh, confusing, but uh, can I write? Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. This is just alpha t, right? Alpha t is equals one minus beta t, and alpha's compound is uh, just alpha t uh, bar, uh, alpha t bar. This is, yeah, of course, product of alpha. Oh my god. I. I equals one to ten, one to t, and oh, okay. I think you all uh understand what this term means, right? We're gonna use later, so we will uh we define here, and. Okay. Scared alpha comprot. I hope I can write. Hmm. It just passed. Okay. Hmm. The function extract is used to retrieve the element at index time t from the tensors. We just define this, this, uh, such as alpha, beta, squared root, alpha compound, like this. We can extract uh, index t from the these tensors. Can you guess what's the length of all these tensors, like alpha, alpha's compound, betas? They are all. Oh. Yeah, two hundred, of course. Now it's your turn to implement uh, it yourself. Try to implement Q sample uh, and P losses. I'll give you 10 minutes to try it on your own. Uh, Q sample and P losses. Uh, you can find Q sample and 
Yeah, P sample. I think it, it is not difficult. I'll give you 10 minutes. Oh, 네, 알겠습니다. Oh, thank you, Hyungchan. P 샘플은 이제 그 리버스 프로세스 할때 샘플링 할때 사용할 거라서 나중에 또 구현하는 부분이 있고요 뒷 부분에 여기 보시면 네뒷 부분에 P 샘플이 있고요 P 로스는 그 어떤 트레이닝 로스이다 보니까 피규어에서 그 로스를 어떻게 구성해야 할지 여기 L1이나 MSA 로스에 들어갈 이 노이즈와 프레딕티드 노이즈가 어디로부터 나오는지, 어디로부터 계산할 수 있는지를 생각하시면 됩니다. 아, 그리고 정확히는 Q 샘플에 대해서는 트레이닝을 이제 하지는 않습니다. Q 샘플은 이제 논 알고 있는 베타 스케줄러로 이제 노이즈를 추가하는 과정이기 때문에 네, 트레이닝은 하지 않습니다. 
Okay, time's up. Can you guess uh, what's the answer from Q sample function? Um, if it, oh, the answer is uh, x dot plus s. Yeah, so yeah, you're right. The answer would be uh, alpha. I just copy and paste. Payment. Yeah. The answer would be like this. And this is uh, from nice property, as I earlier mentioned. And how about pillows? Uh, what is X noisy? Can you guess what? X noisy is from Q model. And the input would be x dot and t and right. And how about predicted noise? There's would be t noise model, x noisy, and t. Right. Q sample is the process that creates a noisy image at a random timestamp t, right? Uh, from x start. x start means x zero. And the denoise model takes x noisy and t as input and predicted and predict noise, like just this figure. X noisy and time embedding. Q samples are. Isn't it Q sample, not Q model? I'm oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Q sample. Thank you. Thank you, Manyo and Hyeongchan. And we can use uh, MSA laws, Aaron laws, smooth Aaron laws, or something else. Okay. So far, do you have any questions? Okay. Let's define a uh, data set and data loader. We are gonna use fashion amnist. Uh, the image size is 12, uh, like amnist, uh, 28 by 28 and channel would be one since this is grayscale image. Also, uh, we're gonna convert uh, grayscale using this image dot convert L. This means convert image into the grayscale image. And uh, this is just plot function. We can uh, see this figure demonstrates an, an example of noise being added. You can see a shirt, 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 shirt image becoming a noiser, noisier as the time, stems, time steps progress, <clears throat> particularly uh, the last image is almost similar to random noise, right? This is what we did so far. And now uh, we're gonna implement sampling. 
as seen in algorithm two, uh, we're gonna generate new image from a diffusion model by reversing process. We start from large T to one. Uh, before that, we uh, sample pure noise from a Gaussian distribution and then gradually denoise uh, the noise, uh, no, uh, pure noise, until uh, we end up at time step, time step t equals zero, right? Okay. So I think this is the uh, last part to implement. So I'll give you 10 minutes. I'll just implement this part on your own. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in chat. Oh, questions from Chun Jin. How can we generate diverse image uh, from trained DDPM? I will answer later when we implement 
uh, p sample this function. We can answer after that.
Okay. Uh, time's up. Um, you can directly transcribe the formula into the code, right? Here, this formula. So what would be the model mean? What is uh, the this blank? Can you guess uh, the answer? The answer would be ST. Well, ST. Right. Right. This is just copy and paste from this X minus beta T. This is beta t. And model xt would be this part. And square root 1 minus alpha comprot t. Ah, sorry. OK. And what would be this answer? This is really copy and paste from algorithm two, line four, right? This would be model mean plus what? This is model mean, right? And square root. Posterior key and add place. Okay. Uh, is there anyone uh, who can answer uh, Chun Jin's question? How can we make diverse image from the same XT? Even from same x t x large t, I mean uh, uh, sample from normal distribution, we can make diverse image since this part. We can uh, we predict uh, added noise from here, but when we are sampling for each step. We sample uh, some z, which is which follows normal distribution for every step, and add here. So uh, this makes randomness, so we can make diverse image from the same x large t. Chunjin, uh, are you okay? It, is it? Oh, did you understand my answer? Well, um, yeah, <laughs> you're right. How you find the posterior variance? Oh, we already... Uh, Define posterior variance here. Uh, here, here, here. Oh, oh here. Since uh, we use known beta schedule, we can predefine the posterior variance. Although, is it okay? Okay. Oh, do you have? Oh, do you guys have another question? Okay. The 
function p sample loop uh, just repeatedly perform denoising from large t to the end, right? So let's actually do some training and sampling now. Just run this code, run all this code. Um, we just define model as unit and optimizer as Adam. And yeah, we set epochs to 10 and we sample uh, random noise, uh, uh, not random noise, sample timestamp T from uniform distribution. And we're gonna input T and image to uh, model, right? We also defined P losses. In this case, we use a hover loss instead of MSC loss, but it doesn't matter. And it, it will take some time. So just implement, I'll just run all the code. Okay. And while we're while training, let's move on the sampling. We're gonna uh, sample 16 for 64 images and we can sample uh, images from Gaussian noise using P sample loop, right? And among 64 pictures, generated images, I just picked the second image and the generated image looks like a t-shirt. And this t-shirt is from random noise, right? I just show a uh, t-shirt, but you can also check the other example making t-shirt like this. Okay. Uh, I think that's all for today. Uh, if you have interested in uh, this material or DDPM, you can read this paper. This is improved DDPM and a glide, a cl classifier free diffusion guidance or latent diffusion like this. Okay. So do we have any last questions? Okay, thank you then. Uh, can you oh oh uh, can you show the sampling solution? Okay, sampling solution. Do you mean this? Uh, I will unload the solution file um, today. Okay. Okay, thank you everyone. Uh, you can leave.